A punctured tire and an exam to prepare. Sounds like I'm stuck inside today, hey? Except not. We got an awning to dry out and a better spot for studying. Who said you can't have work and life together? Getting outside doesn't have to be an escape from reality. It is the reality, just a better one. So what do you say? Let's grab some pies and hit a road. Last night we were down, just randomly checking the tire pressures and found uh, Monique's left front down at 24, it's supposed to be at 32. So I just pumped it up to spec, we rolled the tire and we saw a little nail. Now you can see I sprayed some Windex and it's, uh, it's bubbling. So we have at least one puncture we need to get taken care of. So if we were in the middle of nowhere and the tire was not holding air that well, uh, we'd want to use one of these plugs or cords. You're gonna remove the uh, the nail. You got pliers in this kit too. You're gonna clean out the the wound, and then you would use one of these to insert one of these rubber cords into the tire, and that will stop a uh, a faster leak. But if it's leaking slowly like that, and we're in the city, no rush. Just take you to the tire shop tomorrow. Why are you opening an awning? Let's try it out. Let's try it out? Full of water. <laughs> okay, I reckon we just go out and set it up somewhere. No, but I gotta study today. You need to study outside, you can't see I set you up outside somewhere quiet. I'll put your heater on too. Alright, you win. I pack. Yo, my book doesn't fit my bag. Make it fit. There we go. Since my video is backdated, here's a little background. At that time, I was applying for MBA, hence needing to take a GMAT exam. As a desperate business grad, a master's degree seems to be the only way to sue his mom and pop. Long story short, I received the offer but later decided to defer it because the COVID format of teaching online really isn't my jam. Plus, new opportunity came up. Passing by this little town called Yaragun, country style bakery in these places are always the best. How much this weight? Can you read it? I can't read it. There. What does it say? 2440. 2440. Kilograms. But I'm not a full tank of fuel. Finally, it's pie time. Easily my favorite thing about Australia. And yes, you gotta squeeze the tomato sauce packet on top. Just like how we all just do it. We'll be able to find some good spot after passing this Thompson Dam. This is the largest reservoir for Melbourne's water supply. Driving along the top of the dam is truly amazing. On the other side though, once off the paved roads, you'll get some pretty gnarly track. You may 
not be able to feel it in the video, but this is quite a steep descent. Finally, find some spot to set up the awning and the table, and I can finally get to study, which is what I'm supposed to do today. But somebody decided to come out. It's actually pretty cold um, out in the mountain. We have a heater that we just got from Anaconda. It's doing pretty well. Can you set in a tent when you're out camping in winter and? How's your fire going? Need a bigger ox, maybe? I need some fire starters. <laughs> or maybe a torch. I remember while in university, I was always pulling my hair out due to the stress from not having enough time. It seems like you can never have study, sleep, and social life simultaneously. You'll need to choose two out of the three. It actually makes me more agitated, stuck inside when my mind wants to get out. But sometimes, something can be combined. You see, I got my GMAT done and had some outdoor time. Would I take GMAT exam again? Probably not. Would I apply for another master's? Mm, maybe. Would I come out to the wilderness with bugs again? Absolutely yes. load up the car for a big desert trip.